today's Lamp Bible study in chapter, Isaiah chapter 46. Gods of Babylon. <clears throat> Bell bows down, Nebo stoops low. Their idols are borne by beasts of burden. The images that are carried about are burdensome, a burden for the weary. They stoop and bow down together, unable to rescue the burden. They themselves go off into captivity. Listen to me, O house of Jacob, all you who remain of the house of Israel, you whom I have upheld since you were conceived and have carried since your birth. Even to your old age and gray hairs, I am he. I am he who will sustain you. I have made you, and I will carry you. I will sustain you, and I will rescue you. To whom will you compare me or count me equal? To whom will you like me, th liken me that we may be compared? Some pour out gold for, from their bags and weigh out silver on the scales. They hire a goldsmith to make it into a god, and they bow down and worship it. They lift it to their shoulders and carry it. They set it up in its place, and there it stands. From that spot it cannot move. Though one cries out to it, it does not answer. It cannot save him from his troubles. Remember this. Fix it in mind. Take it to heart, you rebels. Remember the former things, those of long ago. I am God, and there is no other. I am God, and there is none like me. I make known the end from the beginning, from ancient times, what is still to come. I say, my purpose will stand and I will do all that I please. From the east, I summon a bird of prey. From a far off land, a man to fulfill my purpose. What I have said that I will bring about, what I have planned that I will do. Listen to me, you stubborn hearted. You who are far from righteousness, I am bringing my righteousness near. It is not far away, and my salvation will not be delayed. I will grant my salvation. I will, I'm sorry. I will grant salvation to Zion, my splendor to Israel. Wow, there's a lot here just in this uh, first chapter. So <clears throat> he is talking about how. Isaiah is telling um, the people how the people of uh, this other nation, Babylon, are. How these, remember, God created all, all of them, everybody, and yet people started fracturing off, you know, and they were filling the earth, and they stopped worshiping the Lord. They, they didn't worship the Lord. They created their own gods. And so here's this whole civilization, this whole nation that has stopped uh, and, and never has worshiped the Lord. So, or, and doesn't worship the Lord currently. And so here's Isaiah telling him that even with all, with what they've done, what what they grasped, it all came from the Lord. It was all planned by the Lord, and their ability to create things, their ability to um, prosper, their ability to eventually conquer Israel is because the Lord had planned it. And the Lord had planned different things for different times, for different seasons. Go back to the book of Ecclesiastes. Go back to uh, Lamb Bible Study in Ecclesiastes, because Ecclesiastes chapter 3, there's a time for everything, and it's all planned. And there's reasons for it. There's a reason for it, whether it is to train, whether it is to learn, whether it is to allow for circumstance, allow for people to... Uh, their stubbornness and are willing to not listen to the Lord or be guided by the Lord and just want to do what we want to do and suffer those consequences. Sometimes it is by by things just happening. And because those things happening, um, you, we may be a part of it, um, those things, those unfortunate things, but it can give an opportunity of who to lean on, who to trust, who to go to, who to go to for healing and comfort. And so it really puts in mind a perspective that here are these people and they're proclaiming that they're this marvelous nation 
and they can do whatever they can do no wrong they can do whatever but the lord's already knows the lord already knows and speaking through isaiah he's telling the people listen to what he says over here um he says um what i have said that will i bring about what i have planned that will i do listen to me you stubborn hearted you who are far from righteousness i am bringing my righteousness near it is not far away and my salvation will not be delayed and basically the lord is stating his presence <laughs> People think that the Lord is far away and he is not around. Even in this time, um, they felt like, you know, they could create their own God. They needed to worship their own thing. And that was never the case. The Lord has always been around, bringing past to present. It's the same today. We don't even realize how close he is. And so, uh, you know, Thinking about those things, thinking about how life is, also understanding that a lot of these things were planned and understood that, yes, we have a choice, but the Lord already knows what choices we will make through life. And don't ever think, because I've talked about this before, don't ever think that you making a decision is going to prevent the Lord's plan because that's not going to happen. That will never happen. What you decide to do is, you know, it's either guided by the Holy Spirit, by the Lord, or it's not. It's guided by yourself. And sometimes the Lord uh, will allow for consequences to happen. Sometimes he'll protect because it's not that time. And so when it's guided by the Lord, it is perfect. It is right. It will know it. <laughs> it is prosperous. It is holy. It is fulfilling. Um, it is comfort. It is love. And so, and we talked about that in the previous Bible study too, um, how where are we when we say, I love you to someone? It, is it, we're supposed to be reflections of the Lord. Is it uh, an I love you just as the Holy Spirit, just as the Lord intended? Or is it I love you because saying it will benefit, saying it will prevent, saying it will make someone quiet, so, saying it will make someone uh, react and or is it just spouting out something or is it literally I love you I love you just like I love the Lord just like I love myself I love you and knowing what all of love is and we'll get to the New Testament we'll talk more about that but bringing past to present and understanding what Isaiah is telling us here how the Lord is close he's always close and he always knows and he always sees and there's nothing that we can or cannot do that will prevent the Lord in what his will is what kind of thoughts or feelings come to your mind when we read over this how does it make you feel and what does it make you think <laughs> 